What's going on guys? This is a quick product overview. Uh, this company here, Z-Moon. This is a TPMS, <laughs> Tire Pressure Monitoring System. And they sent me one of this to review it and I actually like it. So I'll show you what they give. <coughs> um, has a little nice instruction book here. I'm not gonna go into too much detail, but <coughs> basically what you get is you get this little, <coughs> this is your monitor. Now I already have the caps installed on all my tires, but I'll go ahead and show you that in a bit. But I just want to show you this. But this basically just this is also solar power. Solar power. <coughs> um, if you don't have enough solar power, you can also charge it up. So it does come with the <coughs> comes with the charging cable right here. Um, but for the most part, I'll probably put this on the top of my dash. But what it does is it can monitor your tire. So right now you can see the tire pressure about 31 uh, psi on the front. <coughs> Uh, 34 and 33 in the rear and then these small numbers here is the temperature I'm not sure why that matters, but I guess it also measures the temperature of the air or something like that inside <coughs> And it's also really nice because you can also go ahead and set the pressure where it goes to if it goes under a certain degree of pressure And let's say you can set it to once it goes under 25 psi um, It'll alert you and I haven't tested yet, but oh go beep 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 or something like that So you can set a low pressure warning and also you can set a high pressure warning uh, it Does come with this adhesive Go ahead and slap that on a bit And this is what it comes with uh, These are my old caps. It comes with this little wrench here And what this wrench is for is it's for these go washers so basically, if you wanted to, these are what they call the locking. Uh, these are to lock your your valves, your valve, uh, <coughs> your valve sensors. These are to lock them in, so people can't steal it. But um, they're kind of annoying because if I do a lot of off-roading, I will have to use this wrench to unlock them. So I decided to not use them. But basically, what you would do is you would just install this first, and then you install your um, your tire pressure valve cap, but I'll show you guys everything once we go outside I just want to show you guys a quick glimpse of what comes in the package. So this is basically what you have um, I'll keep this inside my car for backup and probably keep this manual throw the box away and That's pretty much it. <coughs> so let me go ahead and show you guys a quick zoom through the menu So you have your power button uh, your back. <coughs> this is your power button <laughs> Also as your it's also your back button your menu button and then your four so <coughs> you what you want to do is go ahead and press the menu one two three <laughs> so you can go ahead and change the unit <coughs> so you can if we are American if you're in America uh, we go as PSI so you can go to P so it can it can read out PSI or it can read bar so if you wanted to change that you press the menu again and then you'll press the four button and you see how it goes to bar so <clears throat> by default it was on bar and I had to change it to PSI so one bar is if you guys don't know how to read one bar I didn't know what one bar was but one bar is risk basically so on the menu here it says one bar equals 14.5 PSI so <clears throat> when I first installed them they were like at 2.2 bar <laughs> so that's the first menu <clears throat> you can change that and then you can press 4 and then you can change the <coughs> trying to get a focus here once you get the next page the next menu is you can change the degree you go uh, you can go to Fahrenheit or Celsius so just press back and it'll be Celsius 4 and then press menu again to lock in your option and then the next menu is <coughs> <coughs> so pH stands for uh, pressure high so you can set uh, once it goes over a certain um, <coughs> once it goes over a certain PSI um, it can alert you so once it goes over I have it to the lowest so the lowest is 40 so I usually run about 30 to 32 PSI on my vehicle <coughs> 35 at the most so 40 is the highest I can go and then it goes to PL which is your pressure low so once it goes to so 29 is the lowest no um 29 is the highest <coughs> so 29 is the highest so i don't want it to go under 30 so once it goes under 30 i want to make sure that i get my air pressure back up so i set it to 29 and the next menu is these are the menus that i don't know what's next so lh so i'm not sure what these menus are here and then i'm not i'm also not sure this so menu 5 is 1 3 <coughs> or you can set this so once you press menu you can set these so I'm not sure what these are yeah so if anybody has any clues 
and the menu doesn't tell you uh, the menu doesn't tell you what these menus are so I'm not sure what exactly these are right here menu 7 D E F L 20 oh that's reset oh shoot I think that's what I pressed earlier so pressure Fahrenheit oh so it did, re it did reset it so we want to go to pressure high so once it goes to 40 I think that was a reset that was a reset button so we'll do that and then low pressure <coughs> low pressure once it gets to 29 we want to be um, we want to be alert left hand Yeah, so I'm not sure what those the rest are. So once you press menu, you'll go back to what it is. So right now, we're back at what we're at. So this has the temperature and each tire pressure. And then let's go ahead and I'll show you guys what they look like outside. These are the pressure monitoring uh, caps. Pretty simple. <coughs> So if you use your wrench, if you put your wrench right here, you can actually twist this open and that's actually how you replace the battery. I'm not sure where battery takes, but it takes a little small battery. Yeah, not, we'll see how long they last. But this is pretty much it. It does have an indicator. You have four of them. So you have FL, this is your front left, FR, front right, and then rear right, rear left. So just make sure you guys put them in the right one or else your, uh, your monitoring will be incorrect so if you guys wanted to use those lock washers what you would do is you'll put the that little lock washer first and then you'll screw this in you'll screw this in and then you'll go ahead and back that lock washer till it gets to right until it locks in with this piece and then you wouldn't be able to unlock this and uh, it's, I guess that's a security device but that's pretty much it guys let me know what you guys think I'll be running these for a while and we'll see how accurate they are and we'll see how good they are and I'll keep you guys posted in the comments section below see you guys next time I'll go ahead and leave a link in the description if you guys want if you guys do want to check out the product and buy it it's on Amazon it won't be a affiliate link so if you guys like it just check it out